Hi, this is Shui. I will present our work, Glancy, an adaptable system for instructors to grasp student learning status in synchronized online classes. In recent years, especially during the pandemic, video conferencing based synchronized online classes have become a widespread education model in the world. Despite its popularity and significance, instructors face a challenge that they cannot see student faces due to their unwillingness to show their videos. Some teaching assistant systems have been proposed. However, there remain two research gaps. First, there is a lack of empirical investigation on which types of learning setups instructors would like to see in practice. Second, existing tools lack the adaptability to accommodate instructors' different preferences. To mitigate these research gaps, we read and explore five research questions. The first two research questions help us design our system, and based on the system, we conduct a user study to further investigate the following three questions. Firstly, we ask the question, what kinds of student learning status are instructors concerned about in synchronized online classes? To answer this question, we conduct a survey for instructors. Especially, we collect instructors' preference of learning status. From literature review, we conclude five types of student learning status. And for each, we lack participants give their perceived importance, very important, somewhat important, or not important. We launched a survey with 67 instructors from different majors with rich online teaching experience. For their preference or student learning status, we can find that for each learning state or behavior, there are some instructors finding it important and some instructors perceiving it not important. Therefore, there exists individual preference. And from their feedback, we also conclude three requirements, including adaptability, space saving, and the low burden. To figure out what would be an acceptable method for students to capture and display their learning status on the fly, we then survey 62 students and found that they are willing to contribute their video data for learning status extraction as long as privacy and anonymity are guaranteed. Taking the informed team feedback from both instructors and students into consideration, they obtained five design requirements in total. To account for the first two design requirements from students, we design a system architecture which contains a student end, a server, and a teacher end. For the student end, based on a normalized weighted importance score, we rank and select a set of representative learning status to implement. For the teacher end, we first organize a design workshop to design the potential interface design and come up with five features to cater to their needs. The interface includes three parts, a dashboard view for instructors to customize the interface before a class, a set by like in-class view for real-time student learning status monitoring during class, and a post-class view for retrospective review and analysis after class. In the in-class view, a total of five separate views are available from top to bottom, including kind of facial behaviors, engagement, confusion, disconcentration, and emotion. And users can show or hide any views in the drop-down menu to keep only the needed information, which could reduce cognitive load. Also, we provide some other community interaction for the instructor to adjust the interface. In the user study, we compare the proposed glancy with two baselines. One is called the Engage class, which is a non-adaptable version of our system, only showing engagement. And the other is Zoom only, without any additional student learning data display. We conduct a within subject user study, where instructors deliver three live online lectures in three different confidence conditions. After each class, participants were asked to fill an in-task survey. And after all the classes, they were asked to fill a post-task survey and conduct a retrospective review of their teaching process and finally participated in an interview. 
we recruited 80 instructor participants and 53 student participants from different universities, majors, and backgrounds. We collect both subjective and objective data to measure the usability and effectiveness of the proposed galaxy and the effects on instructors' workload, emotions, behavior, trust, and so on. For the detailed measurements, please refer to our paper. Through the user study, we first investigate how are the usability and effectiveness of the adaptable system in real online classes. Results show that Glancy is perceived to be significantly more usable and more helpful than the two baselines from multiple perspectives. Then we investigate how will instructors interact with and be influenced by the system during a live online class. We categorize our findings into three parts. Usage pattern, effects on their behavior and emotion, effects on their attentional and cognitive load. Next, we select some findings to report. We found that all instructors frequently glanced at our sidebar view, both intentionally and unconsciously. We conclude 11 kinds of timing and motivation of their glancing behaviors. And we found different instructors pay different amount of attention to different learning strategies. Besides, we found that instructors adjusted their teaching according to student learning status, and we conclude 12 behavior patterns. In addition, overall, instructors felt more positive about their lecture delivery experiences with Glancy. Besides, we are interested in investigating how well instructors trust and collaborate with such an AI-empowered system. We got three findings of how well instructors trust Glancy. Then we look deeper into what might affect their trust and find five important factors, such as whether the displayed student learning status is as expected, and instructors' intrinsic perception of the sensing techniques, and their perceived importance of the learning status. Besides the trust issue, we got some interesting findings of how instructors collaborate with the AI-empowered system. First, they would take absolute control during the interaction. Second, the system is like an evaluator, encouraging instructors to improve their teaching. Third, sometimes the system can serve as a mentor for instructors, helping them identify problems that they have never realized before. Finally, we discuss the overarching design issue of Glancy and build upon our key findings to propose design recommendation for general online teaching assistance system. For example, we look into negative emotions caused by the transparency of student learning status and the instructor's overtrust in the imperfect AI algorithm. Detailed discussion can be found in the paper. I would like to conclude my talk and open the floor for questions. Thanks for your attention.